All right, so we are back for another video, guys. And today we're gonna check out the B Coffee Co. Um, the Freshman. So this is actually a coffee machine, an espresso maker, and uh, you can get some pods and put into the machine, and uh, you know it magically pops up some coffee. And uh, it's nice for me because I actually have used the Barista Express for a while now. And I've been looking at getting an espresso maker because I sometimes I don't have some time to make my own espresso. And this might be a good alternative to that. And it's actually a, a gift for me, so that's nice. We're gonna unbox a gift for Christmas and this is um, how it looks like. Be Coffee Co. Uh, make your own coffee just the way you like it. And it's actually fairly light as well. Espresso makers or Nespresso makers have been in my radar for some time because uh, Actually, the major advantage there is you can have several flavors. So make um, coffee just the way you like it. Discover all our amazing Bee Coffee Co. capsule varieties and get inspired from over 1,000 ideas. And here you have a um, sleek and smart design, one-touch control buttons, um, fast and convenient as well. And of course, this is the Freshman um, model. And uh, let's check what you are getting in the box. And of course, in the box, you're getting that maybe um, drip tray. And of course, you're getting the device itself, and uh, I would say nicely packaged overall. Alright, so looking at the machine itself, it's actually not that big, so it's quite short as well. And uh, pretty thin as well, so you could definitely fit this um, in any kitchen, I'd say. And at the back, of course, you're getting that water compartment. And of course, in front, um, you're getting that B logo, and uh, this is where you're gonna put your capsule in. Pretty simple, I'd say. And actually, really cool here um, is at the back, you're getting the suctions. So um, this will be really stable when you put this in the table because it's actually not that heavy. So actually my barista express is really heavy. So it doesn't have some suctions, uh, but it stays nicely because it's uh, you know fairly heavy. So it's the weight that is making the whole machine stable. But this, um, since it's uh, fairly light, um, that suctions will definitely help out to make this um, really stable in your kitchen. Actually, it looks nice for me. So actually in our kitchen as well, it does fit because uh, we're, we have a, maybe a white black kitchen. This is the mocha flavor, so this is the, the main advantage of Nespresso's over your maybe usual maybe espressos. We're getting some cappuccinos. You have a latte as well, latte mix. And of course, we're getting some Americano as well. And actually, I do have several Nespresso's as well. So this is nice. Uh, you can have the whole world of Nespresso tastes. And uh, this is also a discovery box. Um, it seems to be like a random kind of thing. So actually, we might start with this. Um, so we can have maybe several flavors of this. All right, so this is the discovery box, guys. That looks really cool. So this is uh, what I really like about, um, you know, these kinds of products. You can have several flavors in your home and you can prepare it like, you know, really quick. So the water box is removable. So definitely like this. Um, so compared to my Barista Express, it's also removable. So that's uh, definitely an advantage. All right, so we now have some water in. Um, it does feel good and it does look good as well. So very important, especially, you know, in the kitchen. I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna pull a shot. All right, so we are now gonna pull a shot. And actually after plugging the machine in, you have several options at the top. So we might need to put uh, something in first and then we're gonna try to pull a shot. All right, so we have our really nice looking espresso cup here. And uh, yeah, this is this seems to be random. So this is the first that we are gonna try, which seems to be maybe a, a latte based pod here. So let's try to put this in, closing it down. All right, so it has a bit of force when you close it down, which is not a big problem. And we might be able to pull maybe an espresso shot from this. So we're gonna choose the leftmost one. There we go, it's now pulling a shot. That looks cool. You have some froth. You have a bit of crema as well. That's really cool. So that is our first shot of espresso, guys. So um, from the shot, it seems to be that it's a maybe a latte. So I'm gonna taste the first shot here. Actually, that's a milky smell to it. And maybe a sugary smell as well, or a caramel smell. Mm. And look at the shot, guys. That is the consistency of the shot. You have a bit of crema as well on top. You now for a pod-based shot, that is uh, pretty cool. So let's try it out. Mm. 
So it has a bit of acidity to it, maybe some caramel, maybe some very woody taste. Mm, this would be nice for a latte, I'd say. Because of the acidity, you need to balance it out with some, some milk maybe. I'm gonna add a bit, a bit of um, um, milk on it with this cup, just to balance things out and uh, let's try to taste it. All right, so some coffee by Milk Lab. This is uh, what I usually use recently. So I actually like the taste of the, the shot. There you go. Especially for something that I made uh, really instant. But uh, this is the, the drink that we have. But this is the drink that we have. It kind of looks legit, I'd say. So let's try to drink it up. All right. Yeah, that fits nicely for a latte taste, especially for something that's made for just a couple of minutes. I ate in the shot, maybe it's around 80 to 90 percent there compared to the shots that I pull in the Barista Express. So I, I would say um, the shots that I pull here is still gonna be better. Um, still have, gonna have more body in the taste, uh, I'd say, but for something that's uh, you know, just made for two minutes, I didn't need to grind the beans. And for something that I can, you know, just choose some flavors on, this is definitely really cool. So this is the Bee Coffee, um, the Freshman. So what are my thoughts on it? So I think um, for the price range that this is in, it's a nicely um, built um, espresso maker. You're getting that removable um, water tank, so easy to put some water in. And getting that uh, fairly nice looking machine here um, can definitely fit it um, in a coffee nook, I'd say. Yeah, the machine. Uh, the operation is really easy. Just you know, plug and play, and this, just press one button, and you will have your espresso ready to go. Um, so, I think that that's pretty cool. So that's it for our unboxing today. And of course, if you learn something, I'm leave a like and subscribe for content like this in the future. Thanks for watching, and uh, happy drinking, guys. Goodbye.